How's it going everyone? Dax here and today we're going to be reacting to another Sunny V2 video reacting to how Planet Fitness became hated by the world. I literally know nothing about Planet Fitness because I'm not really a gym goer so uh, not really aware but maybe Sunny V2 can shine light upon the situation. And away we to understand the overwhelming hatred for Planet Fitness, you first need to understand their business uh, model. What? Planet Fitness was created with the goal of having a non-competitive culture opposite to that of something like Gold's Gym, where bodybuilding is glorified. Uh, Everything in Planet Fitness is catered towards the less experienced beginner, and on the surface, this makes like the average Joes from Dodgeball. Planet Fitness look like a fairly positive place. However, as we look into the methods they use to achieve this why beginner is friendly image, what? you'll start to understand why their approach also receives an insane amount of backlash. This image posted huh? to the Gym Memes Facebook page shows a note attached to a Planet Fitness leg press reading, we do not cater to bodybuilders or heavyweight lifters. Please help hmm. us keep our non-intimidating environment by loading only four weight plates on each side. With this note showing that not only are Planet Fitness trying to cater to beginners, but they're also trying to repel anyone who might consider themselves an intermediate or advanced lifter. In addition okay. to requesting that members only use a maximum of four plates on the leg press, Planet Fitness gyms also feature no squat rack, no deadlifting area, and no bench press, with the Smith oh. machine being the only alternative for those looking to perform these exercises, or if you're desperate enough, you can evidently use the machine where you'd usually do dips. The gym requests that members <laughs> refrain from doing T-rows, overhead presses, clean and jerks, deadlifts, and even requests that members don't do supersets, which is achieved in part by maxing out their dumbbells what? at 75 pounds or 34 kilos, with this number being an even lower 60 pounds or 27 kilos, depending on which franchise you go to. As an alternative, Planet Fitness gyms are instead filled with excessive amounts of cardio equipment, with a possible goal of encouraging their members to avoid the weight training area altogether. So basically, really? Planet Fitness doesn't allow you to actually get stronger. The only gym yeah. that doesn't like people going to the gym. I went to Planet Fitness as a joke with one of my- So you're paying to go to a gym that- Probably costs the same amount as an ordinary gym, but at the end of the day, you're you're not getting half the equipment that you need to go do stuff in a gym. I, that's kind of pointless. I suppose it's to weed out the people that are common gym goers, like you know the tryhards, people that always like tell you you should go to the gym, you should do this, you should lift, you should be you should be bulking, dude. But yeah, it's it's to get rid of them people, so it's more of a comfortable location for like average Joes, like he's saying. But at the same time, you're paying the same price as an ordinary gym to get less stuff. So my Why? friends because your first day you get free to test out and I was deadlifting 360 on the smith machine and I put pads underneath the weight so it wouldn't slam and the manager kicked me out because I was noticeably stronger than everyone else and creating an intimidating <laughs> atmosphere. Planet Fitness having a problem with people who are so noticeably dumb. stronger than everyone else is something yeah. that can also be observed in countless different YouTube videos. What? I wasn't there a week. No I was told, shot. You do intimidate the other patrons and uh, we don't like your type here. For example, four times world strongest wow. man Brian Shaw was kicked out of Planet Fitness whilst making a fairly relaxed YouTube video with this Dude, piece of content pairing another title giant. Planet Fitness cancelled my membership after 500 pound bench press cementing their dislike wow. for those who go to the gym to push their limits. As an extra uh... measure to avoid intense exercise, Planet Fitness also has their notorious lunk alarm which can be triggered by that? Planet Fitness staff anytime they see a member working out too intensely. What? Lunk alarm is actually huh? pretty goaded. If it goes off, it means that you're making gains, and the staff is just making sure that everyone knows that you're built different. But while wow. this person managed to frame True. the lunk alarm as beneficial, on a wider yeah. scale, the concept has been criticized pretty damn heavily. The alarms Ooh. are set to trigger when they detect muscles actually contracting. Planet Fitness, you're being too loud. Also, Planet Fitness uses tornado warning sign to replace the noise <laughs> of normal gym activities. This alarm is infinitely more disruptive than the clanking of weights or grunts of strained lifters. It's also startling, which can cause the injuries to anyone under load. And in addition to simply having the lunk alarm, there are countless comments describing ridiculous situations during which the alarm has been sounded. I accidentally dropped my drink off the treadmill and the lunk <laughs> alarm went off. I got kicked out. The lunk alarm goes off if you accidentally drop a pen. All right guys, I'm gonna find a fitness. Watch how ridiculous this is. That's not true. That's not but true. But to be fair to Planet Fitness, no both way. gym members and the staff themselves have often stated in videos and comments that the lunk alarm is rarely ever used. Yes, there is a oh. lunk alarm. However, I've never even heard it go off. I've worked at two different Planet Fitness locations and we never once sounded the lunk alarm on people for anything. I think it depends uh. on the individual locations, whether they're franchise or not. We were told that we weren't allowed to use it, that it was more oh. of a novelty item. I went to Planet Fitness for six months and never heard the alarm. I think it mostly depends on the manager you get. Treat the alarm as a sign uh. of a good or bad manager. If that alarm sounds, it's 
see those videos as well, right? They could have been like, they have a friend that works at Planet Fitness and like, if I drop my pen, will you turn on the lunk alarm? And it could, that's, do you know what I mean? Like things are always staged nowadays, especially on YouTube. You don't know, you Time don't know. find another gym. As a person who works at Planet Fitness, we never set the lunk alarm off. We don't pull okay. the lunk alarm. We don't pull it because there's no purpose to like, you know, on the flip side too, we like to have fun. Sometimes as soon as we just hear anything, boom, we just pull it. And it's different when your manager's there and when your manager's not there. However, while the alarm can be dismissed as somewhat of a meme, drinking out of a gallon water jug as well as their dress code are both something that Planet Fitness does take extremely seriously. In the previously mm. mentioned video where Brian Shaw gets kicked out of Planet Fitness, a sign can be seen which reads, dress code, to maintain our no gym intimidation environment, please no jeans, boots, sandals, or string tank tops, thank you. Other banned items of clothing okay. include do-rags, skull caps, bandanas, and judging from internet anecdotes, this dress code is definitely the next reason behind why the gym is so hated. I used to have mm -hmm. a Planet Fitness membership and on multiple occasions they asked me to go home and change my gym outfit to something less revealing. I was wearing a tank Whoa. top and shorts lol or they would give me one of those hideous white t-shirts with their logo to cover myself up. In this video Whoa. titled Planet Fitness Fail Why I Cancelled My Membership, the girl explains that she was confronted by staff for simply having a one gallon water bottle. One of the workers did a beeline for me one time while I'm working out, interrupts my set and is like oh you can't have that gallon of water here. Whilst another member was denied entry altogether because his water bottle was too big to fit in their designated cup holder. <laughs> so I'm in here at Planet Fitness, this bottle, and Miss Ashley does not want to allow me to Wait, work how big out was it? Sorry, I was laughing. This bottle big to fit oh, that's in a, the that's a big cup bottle. holder. So I'm in here at Planet Fitness with this bottle, and Miss Ashley does not want to allow me to work out because she says my bottle will not fit into her cup holder. Imagine asking someone to leave because they're <laughs> drinking water and being healthy. <laughs> For being a judgment-free facility, all they do is judge, and this is why their approach is so controversial. The judgment-free slogan is targeted toward their main demographic, beginners, but in order to achieve this branding, they have to be judgmental toward anyone who isn't a beginner, making their approach incredibly hypocritical. So yep. no judgment, except you get to judge. That's right. We won't judge or criticize you unless you're someone in shape in a gym. No judgment uh, zone unless yep. we are the ones judging. Planet Fitness, no judging. Good also, Planet Fitness really, judges anyone who actually time. wants to work out properly, with this criticism mm. also being bundled in with more sinister theories about why Planet Fitness fights tooth and nail in order to maintain their judgment-free branding. If you why think about it, the entire concept is an incredible idea. By keeping the judgmental people away, you only attract yeah, yeah. the insecure who pity themselves. At the same mm -hmm. time, you keep away any serious lift who could show what is possible, therefore reassuring these half-heartedly gym goers that what they're doing uh, is absolute peak performance. The picture of roid raging smart. testosterone monsters is planted into people's heads, thus yeah. bringing them even stronger to that gym. Financially mm. speaking, it's a masterpiece. Perhaps That's this actually is a really smart. How many likes that guy gym. get? Fin only 26 likes, like lights, likes, but he's uh, a Actually speaking, facts. it's a masterpiece. Perhaps this is a bit of a conspiracy theory, but it's also possible that it's in Planet Fitness's best interest to keep no, their no, members out of shape so they'll sense. continue to pay for membership. On the first mm. Monday of every month, Planet Fitness hosts Pizza Monday, during which free pizza is given to what? members before, after, and even during their workouts. Then similarly, on the second Tuesday of every month, Planet Fitness has Bagel Tuesday following the same concept, but with free bagels. Are there bagels? Planet they look Fitness like donuts. makes a pretty decent argument for why they consider this to be acceptable, stating on their website, it's okay to indulge in a treat every once in a while. The truth is one That's slice true, of pizza but... isn't going to destroy a month's worth of work in the gym, which is why Planet Fitness Pizza Monday and Bagel Tuesday only roll around once a month. Moderation is key, <laughs> yet as you might expect, these free junk food days have come with even more public backlash. I'm oh, doing God. like squats and deadlifts and the smell of like a hundred pizzas is coming <laughs> at me. It's just not right, Planet Fitness. Come on, the pizza being in the gym, it's just not right. They don't go together. Offer free salads, offer free, I don't know, protein shakes. But pizza? No, Planet Fitness. Pizza at a gym is like having <laughs> AA meetings in a bar. Nothing like True. getting a good workout than enjoying a high calorie pizza afterwards, hashtag gains. It's actually <laughs> a genius tactic. You go there to lose weight and get in shape. They give you pizza, you gain some weight, you have to go back to lose that weight. Keeps you in that gain weight, lose weight cycle. Planet Fitness not actually wanting their members to lose weight <laughs> might also explain some of the other things that you can get with your membership, such as their total body enhancement chamber, which sounding what? like a pile of infomercial garbage, apparently. Yeah 
yeah. only helps work muscle groups, firms and tones the body, as well as helps reduce stress. However, what? these no-effort scam machines just like really the type of customers that Planet Fitness are generally going after. Their cheap $10 per month memberships are seemingly designed to appeal to people who will go once or twice, never turn up again, but also yeah. never cancel their membership because, well, nobody can be bothered to go into the gym to cancel it when it's only 33 <laughs> cents per day. What do I have to do to cancel this membership? Oh, you have to come into the location or else write a letter. The gym where I stay is 45 minutes away from where I live at. Is those the only two ways? Yes, those are the only two ways. Why would you sign up to a gym that's 45 minutes away? You literally done the exercising to get to the gym. If you'd have just walked there. <laughs> you have to what? physically come in to cancel your <laughs> membership. That's and judging from some of the videos on YouTube, it seems like this strategy is incredibly effective. I've given them $10 a month for four years. Mm -hmm. And I've never stepped foot inside the gym. Just Why? to add a cherry on top of the cake, if you do want to cancel your membership, there are then massive fees involved, as well as other small charges that How force you to spend more fees? money before Wait. you officially leave. Make what? sure you don't break your contract, because if you break your contract, then it's $150 to get out of it. I see that I still got a payment, a charge from Planet Fitness. Now my membership is discontinued. Trying to get rid of gym memberships is basically trying to get rid of a boyfriend that won't go away or a nasty rat. Their business model is to sell members ships to people who don't go regularly. Think about it, there can mm. be 10,000 members for that one gym, but if everyone goes, then the place would be so busy it would either violate legal codes or be so packed you wouldn't be able to work out because everyone is using something. And honestly, yeah. it's hard to blame them. Businesses are created to make money, and with over 2,000 gyms across the globe, Planet Jeez. Fitness has been extremely successful. Yet, unfortunately, they've done so whilst Yo. picking up the nickname Planet Fatness. 2000 wow to be fair though they ain't, they ain't picked it out very well over here it's all over here and all up here nothing over here jesus across christ the globe planet fitness has been extremely successful yet unfortunately they've done so whilst picking up the nickname planet fatness in the process <laughs> That's quite um that's quite funny, but gyms are a scam anyway. I know they, they, they're sometimes beneficial, people work out there, you, you, you know, all that stuff. But in at the end of the day, they're not gonna let you leave without getting some type of type of profits. So yeah, gyms are a scam if you don't use them. That's just a fact. So if you're thinking about being healthy, do it on your own time. Um maybe eat the right stuff first before going into that sort of stuff. And then yeah. If you enjoy doing that sort of stuff like fitness and getting better then join the gym then when you know you like it not just because it's like a new year's resolution or something because at the end of the day you can do you can get healthy on your own without going to a gym end of video subscribe